Progress tonight in Santa Maria, where crews are building a new veterans housing facility. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti explains why this project is so important, especially during the COVID pandemic. Whether they're making a fountain in the backyard. We dedicate the fountain to the fallen soldiers. Or building a new room. With the remodel there and added those bedrooms. Everyone at La Casa de Flores in Santa Maria is a veteran. It is a house for stabilizing veterans, whether they're homeless or at risk. Uh, we have 12 veterans that live here in the main house. But as the demand for housing homeless veterans rises. There's still such a need with homeless veterans. Uh, went up 80% last year, actually. This housing facility is getting too small to fit those in need, so they're making it bigger. We decided to turn the one bedroom into a three bedroom to possibly house either six more male veterans or a veteran family with children. Builders say so far they're about 50% finished with this facility and they're expecting to complete it in the next couple months. It's just been a long time coming in with uh, the virus slowdowns and uh, various problems we've had, it's, you know, it's just going to be really nice to have it available. This project is personal for the construction crew. Everyone involved is a veteran. All of it. We like the code, now we're doing plumbing, and, uh, and it's great. I'm learning a lot. Through this project, organizers are hoping every veteran will become a part of the greater good. There has to be something out there like this, a project that will that will keep them going with purpose. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.